Welcome back, mayors. My name's the Craven. and this is some more city skylines playing the city of Los Horus. And um, strangely enough, every time I play this game, it takes longer to load in. It's it's that bad. Having a clean city with great outdoors opportunities is a privilege. Thanks. Okay, so I should go and extend some more stuff. I think what I'm just gonna do is actually make a neighborhood back here. And because, well, the city can use some more space right now. I think I do have the network. Yeah, I have network extension, so we can now make this uh, four-lane road, which just got added to that mod, which is pretty cool. It gives you a turning lane on a four-lane road, which is pretty good. Um, traffic is, of course, backing the frick up over here. And there are no... What we need here is deletion of traffic lights. Because let's face it, the way they're going, they almost never should cross each other. So, traffic, let's, um, no. Let's just switch these traffic lights off. Let's see how bad this is for tra I mean, traffic from this side is not that bad. The problem here is simply the fact that this on and off ramp is requiring too many vehicles to slow down and they're just taking this freaking single lane of course but no traffic light here means that they will have a lot more throughput going on that's what's stopping them right now see already it's a lot better over here of course everyone can get back onto the um, can get onto the highway that's the word highway wow how am I forgetting words now Oh, this crosses right the wrong way, though. That's annoying. If this was... Yeah, well, if it was left drive, um, left side driving, then this would actually go the other way as well, so it would still be crossing each other. But this should work, for the most part. I mean, this one is near perfect. This should never have anyone cross each other, so... See, traffic is already a lot better, and I only deleted the... Uh, traffic lights is basically because people can actually make an easy um, turn right here but they're still using only this freaking one lane um, let's fix that by doing this and simply removing this here and removing this and moving it there this should help um, once they're fixed and have it again. So this means simply that people should not... Well, they were probably already focused on that lane from before. They should now not be able to use this to get into the... I'm just gonna go away now and shut up about it. Anyway, you will eventually connect back there once we have it all connected and ready to go. Yeah, it's not going up in the same uh, sense next to each other, but this is actually looking perfectly fine here. Just over here, we have some ramps going on. This is just a really weird looking little bit, but that's fine. There's still some flooding on this side of the river though, which we have to be careful about in the future. So let's continue our six lane road down here. Something like this. And this is a difficult one to get perfect. Actually, no, it's not. There you go. There will be on and off ramps over here. And it will go back down again over here. And that's way too steep to be 
in any sense of the imagination logical. This should be better. And we'll continue in that side of the road for now. Uh, some on and off ramps. I'm simply a fan of the easy on and off ramp here. Because it makes it just, you know, it's simple. It's design might not be optimal, but in the long run, it's always been. Okay, let's not do this. The design might not be optimal for traffic flow, but it's been used for so long everywhere around the world and it works for the most part. So why not just use it here as well? Um, this should simply continue on. Actually, I want to change this into a four lane avenue. This will be a sort of second, sort of second downtown almost. This is now a four lane. This will go straight on till morning. All the way over there. Um, I feel, yeah, I know what I said about the desert and I'm definitely gonna keep it that way. There is some parts here are gonna be uh, a tiny bit different, obviously. I mean, at some point, the desert would have been occupied by people as well, so... You go that way, you go this way. Now, the thing what we have to do here, of course, is to change this. Um, this has a turning lane, and it's not necessarily working right now. Yeah, it's not. Hmm... cancel you. I cannot seem to adjust that a little bit. I have to figure out how it works exactly then, I guess. But it just looks slightly cooler, to be honest. Now for some side roads. Um, two, three... Now this will have a theme as well. And the theme I'm going to use is the Brooklyn theme that I just got earlier today. So for now we'll make it easier. So this will be um, Brooklyn Heights just for now. And you will actually have a theme policy. Enable theme management for this, and it will be Brooklyn. So only Brooklyn houses are allowed to be built here. Um, hang on, I need the theme manager again. Policies, theme manager. Brooklyn, does it have any shops? It actually does not. Um, display default? No. All included stuff, yeah. It only has buildings, basically. And everything is uh, about the same. Yeah, I wonder how it will look with corners and such, because those are part of it as well. Okay, so we have... Is, or is it high density? I think it's low density. Policies. And just show me included stuff. It is low density. This is all low density commercial uh, residential. We currently don't have any need for it though. That is fine. Let's see. Let's pick up you. Hmm. Probably one tile too, me too much. Because I want to have some commercial on the outside. And that will not spawn. 
if it's part of the neighborhood because it's not part of the buildings allowed in the neighborhood i think that's the way the theme manager works at least it should be fine so we will have blue and blue just low density this will be mostly low density area anyway have some more shops come in because we kind of need shops in the city so the only two connections Brooklyn Heights will have with the city is through the on and off ramp with the motorway as well as through this section near the University District that goes down towards Cooper Park water we're gonna need water back here we have water back here. We're also going to need the power. Obviously. So for now, I'm going to put that there. Just cross the highway a little over there. Can we? Well, we cannot go underneath it here, which is a shame. So until it actually connects, this is the easiest way to get around that. Um, it does work there. That should power it. Let's speed it up. Simulation is running slow even at high speeds now because of the amount of stuff going on in the city. It'll slow down to a crawl in due time. So, okay, we have power here. We have water here. What we need now is the Brooklyn Ghostbuster fire station. It's only one by three, which is quite cool. Mm -hmm. Let's build it over here. So this is the Ghostbuster style firehouse. Oh, hello, shops. Ghostbuster building, basically. You should, crap, he still hasn't got power. They still don't have the power. I can I do it, Captain? I don't have the power. But yeah, this now will get power. Um, which means I can delete. Yeah, it now has power in general. Um, let's delete you and repower you just like there. Power lines going throughout the city. Always nice. Shops here are sprouting, which is good. Um, over here, we have some high-density buildings going on. Looking good. Some shops. Maybe we can... Um, yeah, this area can have some shops. Sure, and some housing over here. Sort of can be possible in there. Instantly, shops are getting built as well. Still getting loads of power from the dam, but we are getting close to uh, our actual capacity here. 160 output from one solar power plant. Yeah, um, we're going to go for solar. I mean, we're in the desert. Wouldn't solar be like the best power to get anyway? This is working okay-ish. I guess. Yeah, I upgraded this to a three lane, but this one cannot be upgraded because the corner is too small. So if I go below and... Mm, traffic was worse. It was worse, a lot worse before. There's plenty of room for houses here, yeah. So they're just not... And for f agriculture. So it really is a lack of shops that's going on right now, I think. Wow, this one looks cool. The Summit Residence. Look at it. It's like European almost. It's it's very South European, uh, Mediterranean. Maybe also, yeah, just a Spanish architecture in general. I mean, you would see this in sort of Hacienda style, maybe in the uh, south of the U.S. and in Mexico as well. At least that's what it feels like. Pretty much, yeah. 
This is a bit weird though. So the garage is here in the back. Okay, fine. Um, what do we have here? That's a very normal rural house. Very. They, these guys have some serious parking space going on. Another. Ooh, I like. I like this inner plaza. Just, just checking out the cul-de-sac here. Uh, two-story building with two families available here as well. Three stories, even this one. Two-story, one family. Just a lot of stuff next to each other, which is all kind of different. And here we have the finished neighborhood, which I don't think can ever upgrade. That's pretty cool. It just... It feels so green as well. I mean, so... This is pretty good. Um, let's have a mosey around. Health, doing fine. Could use a clinic back here, actually, though. Mm -hmm. Let's have it right there. Death services is fine. 79 deceased with over 600 capacity. That's pretty good. We do not have any fire stations down here. Let's have a modern one in here somewhere, though. Like right there should be fine. People will get better. Coverage will be better. That's good. 26% is actually not bad. Crime rate is only at 5%. We do not have a single police station on this side of the city. So I'm going to build one. But which, you know, does that cover almost everything? Yeah, it does. This would be better coverage, wouldn't it? Here's better coverage. I cannot push it further to the left. Wow. Slightly annoying, I guess. Um, yeah, I'll just put it here. Best coverage in the house. What's your two problem? Commercial building abandoned because worker education was too low. How schooling? Oh god, we need more elementary schooling going on. We have one school. We have two schools on this side as well. Um, no school down here, but it's doing fine. Yeah, we need more edu. Yeah, over here. Um, downtown doesn't have a single bit of schooling going on. I'll build a school here. I'll also build a school there. Strawberry Park is doing okay. 3450. Is it 225 or 300 capacity? Okay, so we actually have a high budget then. Budget school is doing fine. Ooh. Wow, our biggest budget expenses are garbage. And then medical. Actually, that garbage is higher than medical. In general, social countries like most of Europe and Canada, the biggest budget drain is social health care. Um, in numbers. But, hey, look, it's actually a corner, corner house. Uh, why are you unhappy? They don't have any people living here. Well, that could be a good reason to be unhappy. The fact that these guys are actually operating and getting people is silly, too. I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. I'll see you guys later.